Okay, so here's the latest update on what's happening in the state of West Virginia versus Andrew McCauley. Um, he did this. Like, that's the bottom line, right? The state has a ton, a ton of evidence, but every day they call more and more witnesses that are like, here's more proof he did it, and here's more proof he did it, and here's more proof he did it. The interesting thing yesterday, though, was that Andy made a friend in jail. Like, why are these people always in jail? I don't understand how many how often these folks are going to jail. But anyway, Andy made a friend in jail who was about Riley's age. And so Andy kept saying to this guy, hey, did Riley ever send you naked pictures of her? What, dude? This is your stepdaughter. So every couple of weeks, he was like, do you have any naked pictures? Do you have any naked pictures? So apparently... He was hot for this 15-year-old girl, even though he was 40. Child, please put him under the jail for that alone. Like, vibes of Josh Duggar. Like, ugh. Anyway, so he kept asking about naked pictures of his stepdaughter. Um, and then there's a cell phone FBI guy. I don't know who he was. I don't remember his name, but oh, he was hot. I might need to know some of my cell phone historical data if he can come and give it to me. I, Ryan Burke, something like that. I'm gonna have to look him up. Um, my husband might not appreciate that, but I just want to sit and look at his pretty, pretty face. Anyway, so the hot FBI guy gave some good cell phone information that basically amounted to like, yeah, Andy did it. And then the friend that Andy met in jail gave information that was like, yeah, Andy did it. Andy sits there looking like, well, who me? Honestly, I think this case is going to be over on Monday. Um, the state has rested their case and the prosecution is up next. What could they possibly, possibly say? Already they said, oh, we don't think that that mountain of evidence that the state provided, that doesn't prove a thing. Um, we know what happened at this point. This dude got high on a bunch of drugs, raped and murdered his stepdaughter, then threw it away, threw her away, and then helped look for her body. Mm. He's garbage. Um... I would imagine that the jury might deliberate for five to six minutes tops because, honey, there is a boatload of evidence against this guy. Also, this is a reminder that, like, usually if somebody goes missing or gets killed, then it's the people around you. So mind who you hang around. Mind who you have around your kids. Shoot, mind who you even have around your dogs and your pets and your houseplants. It's not safe out here. It is not safe. All right, well... Do your best to stay safe, and um, I'll be back on Monday when hopefully there's a verdict and we can get onto something a teensy bit less depressing. All right, have a great weekend. Bye.